breaking this midday with a story 10 on your side has been covering since the first fires broke out on the eastern shore. Accused arsonist Tanya Bundick's trial is underway today in Virginia Beach. 10 on your side's Liz Palka just stepped out of the courtroom with the latest. Liz, what can you tell us? Well, Anita, Judge Tyler is taking this process very slow right now. We are still in the jury selection phase of Tanya Bundick's trial. Uh, right now, he is questioning people individually, asking very general questions and some that are specific to arson, the Eastern Shore, and this case in general. Uh, let's show you some video from inside the courtroom, and at the same time, I want to set the scene for you. Uh, Bundick pleaded not guilty to both charges this morning. Everything got underway just before 10 o'clock. Keep in mind, while the defendant faces dozens of arson charges, this case only has to do with two, arson and conspiracy to commit arson. This is related to the April 1st fire in Melfa. The judge started the morning with two, 26 potential jurors asking questions like, what are your spouse's occupation? What is your occupation? Can you physically sit for long periods of time about an hour and a half at a time. Then he started asking the more specific questions, such as, do you have anyone uh, that you know that lives on the Eastern Shore? Are you related to any firefighters? Have you ever been the victim of arson? Like I said before, he's asking individual questions right now. He uh, ever asked all the jurors to raise their hands and ask, has anyone heard or seen any news coverage of this specific case? The people that held their hands they uh, up, they went into a different room. Now he's bringing them in one by one and asking them, would the news coverage that you've seen affect your opinion uh, or your ability to form an opinion on this case. He's having them answer yes or no. Then the public defender, Mr. Seleski, is then asking some of these potential jurors questions such as uh, what type of news coverage did you see? Was it print? Was it television? How recent was it? What type of images have you seen of Tanya Bundick? Was it of her getting arrested? What was she wearing at the time? So you can kind of see what this process has been like. Indiv individual questions as of now, they're trying to seat uh, 12 jurors with two extra jurors and they're saying that this case, uh, this trial is going to go at least two days. So we're going to get back into circuit court, see what else is going on, and bring you updates throughout the day. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Thank you.